So today, Dr. Sears, I want to talk a bit about COVID um, and what we can do to boost our immunity. So it's been about four years now since we've heard the word COVID and the pandemic uh, began, but it's still one of the top five leading causes of death. So can you walk us through a bit about your thoughts on where we are in terms of the treatment and maybe the vaccines, and then we'll get more into how we can boost our natural immunity? Well, two things about uh, viral infections, including COVID-19, is that you have to have a strong internal immune system to fight off the infection. And that's why if we look at the number of people who get have been infected with COVID-19, about 80% really have no problems. They can go to CVS to handle all the problems. Uh, 20% may have to go to a hospital and, another, and half of that have to go to the ICU. So the question we wanna ask is what distinguishes that 20% who have severe symptoms from the 80% who have all the symptoms of basically a severe common cold? The answer is a functioning immune system. And here's the aspect. To think that a vaccine is going to overcome a poorly functioning immune system is living in a fool's paradise. And what people will tend to have a poorly function uh, immune system, they fall into three categories. One, people who are obese. Two, people who have diabetes. Three, the elderly. Now, what links each of these three populations? The answer is increasing levels of insulin resistance. They say, well, why? It's because insulin resistance is a catch-all term for basically inhibition of the efficiency of your immune system because it's an inefficiency of your metabolism. So for those three categories of people who are more likely to basically suffer severe consequences of another infection of COVID-19, their number one thing is not getting more vaccines, but basically increasing the efficiency of their immune system. That is done by your diet, and particularly by following the constructs of metabolic engineering. So one of the questions I just want to ask you, just based on what you just said, is that We've heard a lot that inflammation is at the root of disease, but you've mentioned uh, in this case, it's insulin resistance. So can you explain uh, the tie between insulin resistance and inflammation if there is one? Everything that basically controls our future, basically your body's ability to mount an inflammatory attack and to turn it off, that's controlled by metabolic engineering. Your body's immune system to basically activate our immune cells to basically go after uh, alien invaders such as the um, COVID-19 virus. That's also controlled by your metabolism. Your body's ability to repair damaged tissue is controlled by metabolism. The body's ability to turn off a cytokine storm is controlled by your metabolism. So your best defense is saying, I want the strongest possible metabolism I have. So if I am infected, my metabolism can orchestrate my immune system to minimize the symptoms and allow me to get on with my life. So what does somebody have to do to uh, get their metabolism, um, I guess, efficient? COVID-19 is now become endemic. We're going to see one COVID season after another. And more importantly, or more obviously, COVID-19 tends to constantly mutate. So it says we need a new vaccine every year. Say, this sounds suspiciously like the influenza virus saying, what one will be this year? I don't know. Let's make our best guess, which is not usually the best way to go about science. So thinking that biotechnology will come up with our best guess with a brand new vaccine to save you from yourself because you have a weak immune system because of an inefficient metabolism is like going to Las Vegas and putting all your bets on red 36. You could do it, by and large, you're going to lose. So you really want to be thinking right now, what can I do to basically increase my immune surveillance? And that is following metabolic engineering. And after the, after the COVID season, what do you do about that? You keep following metabolic engineering. Why? Because an efficient metabolism is your best guarantee of a longer health span. That's called longevity minus years of disability caused by chronic disease. Excellent. So just to recap here, Dr. Sears, by following calorie restriction, taking your omega-3s and your polyphenols, if you are exposed to COVID, you have a better ability to fight it because you've optimized your immune system by following this metabolic engineering pathway. 
That's correct. It basically, your your ability to basically, you've got some skin in the game. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're going to abdicate all of your future health care to the drug companies. That's a very dangerous game to play. Mm-hmm. 